Hi guys, just Tim from TJP or on 4 by 4 I just want to um, do a quick video on constant load leaf springs and how they work and how they're generally rated. Now there is some variation of this, different manufacturers do do things different ways, but this is a basic rule of thumb on a constant load leaf spring. Now, 97% of the springs on the market that are constant load are a lifted spring. They are not a stock height. Not many people make stock height loaded springs off the shelf. You can get them custom made or or leaf spent up for them, but generally they're not. Um, and that's because most people are lifting a vehicle. Now, a constant load leaf spring, a common one might be say, a 500 kilo leaf, leaf spring. Now, most leaf springs when they're listed, are listed as 500 kilo constant, 300 kilo constant, zero to 150, zero to 300, etc. Now that's how they're generally, and parabolic sort of thing, we'll do another video on that later, but that's generally how they're listed. Now, when they're listed, now say, a 300 kilo leaf spring, 50 mil lifted, right? So that means with 300 kilos on the back of the vehicle, sorry, I'm blocking the right one, at 300 kilos on the back of the vehicle, you'll have 50 millimeters of lift. That's what it means by constant load. So with a 300 kilo constant load on the back, you'll have 50 mil of lift. Now, if you don't have 300 kilos on it, it will generally ride a little bit harsher and it may sit a little bit higher, not always, but it will generally ride harsher and sit higher. Now the other one, to give you another idea, is say a 500 kilo constant at 50 mil lift. Which is the same thing. With 500 kilos on the back of the car, it will still give you 50 millimetres of lift um, and it will handle that load basically better then a 300 kilo, if you put 500 kilos on a 300 kilo spring, you may end up with a 25 mil lift and you may end up with a, a bit of lift at the front because you're putting the weight in the rear. If you've got 500 kilos on a 500 kilo load leaf spring, it'll give you the 50 mil lift with 500 kilos on it. You take that 500 kilos off and say you've only got 100 kilos on it, it'll ride harsher, 100%. Um, it'll probably lift it a bit higher and it'll, your vehicle will probably be a bit like this. So. Getting your load figured out first is highly important before doing your leaf in your, in your lift kit um, because you don't want to overspring it, you don't want to underspring it. Now, there are situations where things can change, so you might have a next gen Ranger and you've got a tub on it, fiberglass canopy and a fridge at the back and that's it. Um, you're putting about 150 kilos on the back generally there, and but you might tow a caravan occasionally. In that case, we wouldn't recommend the 500 kilo, even though you're putting ball weight on, would probably go a 300 and then add some air assist airbags for when you've got the load on the back. Um, 300 being to take the, the canopy and the other things in the back um, and a little bit of load of the van and the bag just to assist, which you'd end up putting about 10, 20 pairs on or something like that. Um, so it's getting that combination right that can take time, but that's what they mean by 500 kilo constant, 300 kilo constant. It's designed to have 500 kilos constantly on that spring and it'll give you a 50 mil lift. That's 500 kilos above stock, by the way, too, guys. So that's 500 kilos above stock weight. Um, and the same as a 300 kilo, etc. It doesn't mean you can go 500 kilos above GVM. It gives you 500 kilos above a stock spring. Thanks, guys.